And when you change the focal length of a lens, you change the angle of view. Where it gets squirrely and kind of styly is when you have a foreground object, like say, a dude, and a background, like say, our shitty studio. Now say you wanted a close-up of me, a headshot. Ignoring the boring middle ground, you can basically shoot that two ways. First, with a wide-angle lens, one with a short focal length and thus a wide angle of view where I'm close to the camera taking up most of the frame. And secondly, you can shoot it with a longer lens, one with a longer focal length where I physically have to be farther from the camera but I still end up taking up most of the frame. What changes is the background, and not just how much of it you can see, whether it's a little or a lot. Here we're gonna talk about depth of field, which is a term that's used when you're talking about focus. And what it means is the depth measured in feet or meters of the field of view of a lens on a camera that's in focus at any given point in time. For example, Ryo has focused this lens on me sitting here, close to the camera. But I'm also acceptably sharp here or here. And that's because we're shooting this shot with a wide angle lens, one that's got a short focal length. And lenses that have short focal lengths have deep depths of field, meaning that almost everything is in focus, whether it's two feet in front of the camera or 20 feet. Whereas with a longer lens, one with a much narrower angle of view, I'm sharp here and here, but blurry by the time I get here. And that's because long lenses, ones with longer focal lengths, have a much shallower depth of field. Much less of their field of view is in focus at any given point in time. And that can be a good thing, because when you're shooting a portrait, for example, the background goes all out of focus, and I am featured, and I look super Especially compared to this crud where you're like, should I look at the dude or the chair or the green thing or the lamps or the box full of stuff or the ping pong table or whatever. So that's about as far as we're gonna take it with depth of field. If you wanna try any of the stuff that I've been talking about yourself, you probably can because you probably have a camera with a zoom lens. So pick something to shoot, a buddy or a carrot or a dog and shoot it with different focal lengths, but try and keep the framing the same and watch what happens to the background and focus. Of course, when we're talking about depth of field, we've kind of been ignoring the big determining factor, aperture, which is a whole nother can of worms, and we're gonna do a video about that sometime uh, in the future.